Africans, Africans, when did the rain start beating us? At the drop of few coins into our hand, we are ready to betray our own people. And I'm saying this because Uganda's government has distanced itself from Judge Juria Septinde, Uganda's representative in the International Court of Justice, after she opposed all emergency measures sought by South Africa in the genocide case against Israel. In other words, uh, this judge, Juria Septunde, voted against all the emergency measures that this court ordered Israel to take as part of them ending the genocide in Gaza. You know the case we are talking about, the case that South Africa took to the International Court of Justice accusing Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. And if you do not know by now, just go to YouTube, look for Al Jazeera. They have tons of videos showing Israeli troops shooting innocent elderly civilians in Gaza. And they've killed more than 27,000 children and civilians, not fighters, just civilians. So that is what is a genocide. And this judge from Uganda, Juria Sebutinde, was the only judge on the 17-member International Court of Justice panel to vote against all six measures adopted by this court in a ruling ordering Israel to take action and stop or prevent any further acts of genocide as it fights Hamas in Gaza. She was also one of the only two judges to oppose the court's assertion that some Israeli actions in the war against Hamas violated the Genocide Convention. In other words, some Israeli actions were actually actions of genocide. Of course, the Ugandan government came forward to issue a statement saying that the position taken by Judge Septinde is her own individual and independent opinion and does not in any way reflect the position of the government of the Republic of Uganda. That is what they said. But don't forget, she's there as Uganda's representative in the International Court of Justice. In other words, they can recall her. She's an ambassador. Even though she's a judge, she's there on behalf of Uganda and definitely on behalf of Africa. But she was bribed. She was bribed to dissent. And she's the only person who dissented, or rather voted against all the findings of that court. She also was the only one who thought that Israel was not committing genocide, while all other 16 judges felt that Israel was actually committing genocide. That's what they said. And I'm sure the Americans and the British tried to reach out to all 17 judges. But the others, the 16 others, are people of integrity. So unlike her, they turned down the bribes. But of course she took the bribe and here she is betraying the cause. The African cause is the cause of humanity. We need everyone to be free because we are still not free on the continent. We are not still free everywhere. So that is the cause for the Africans. And she betrayed that. And don't forget, African countries also betrayed South Africa. Remember, when South Africa took this case, they were humiliated on the international stage. They were humiliated and told that they should go back to Africa and leave these matters alone. They were told that there are more pressing issues in Africa that need their attention than taking a case to the ICJ. And besides Namibia, which stood by South Africa, all others, you know, 50 plus African countries seemed to agree with the position of the Westerners that South Africa was wasting their time. Even though South Africa explained why they were doing it. But we betrayed them anyway. 